Shabbat Shalom, and Shalom to those that are not observing Shabbat today. I'm Ima Ayalea coming back at you uh, with the word for the daughters of Zion. I'm not going to be before you long. It's just something that I came across in my studies uh, yesterday that I thought, hey, why not share it with the Emas and the Kotis? Um, and the title of the lesson is Hamashiach Brains Division. Okay, so I will have to repeat that again because even though I'm not going to be before you long, it's a powerful word in this text. And the title again is Hamashiach Brains Division. Okay, and I will be reading out of the book of Luke, uh, chapter 12, verses 49 through 53. Okay, and oh, hold on, just one thing that I came across when I started reading, trying to figure out what um, version of the Bible that I would use. Um, first, I looked at, you know, the King James Version and also the New King James King James Version. And uh, as you know, we was taught that, wow, when we see... Um, words in red, that is the Hamashiach speaking himself. Uh, but I find, found it strange that in verse 49, uh, Hamashiach would say, and I read, I came to send fire on the earth, and how I wish. Okay, so when I came across that word wish, that just put a check in my spirit. You know, would uh, Hamashiach say wish? You know, so I'm like, uh, to me, that's a word that is kind of like witchcrafty to me, witchcraft. Uh, so, um, it's a word that I think witches and warlocks would use, wish. And it's also a word that, you know, when, um, people celebrate birthday, have the birthday cake and the candles on top of it, uh, oh, make a wish, make a wish. You know, so I, I just don't think that's a good word. Um, and it's a word that I still struggle with, um, that I say from time to time. But um, like I say, I'm a work in progress, okay? And it's just something that I, I try to be conscious of all the time and try not to use the word wish. And so because of that, I decided to, um, even the scriptures uh, use the word wish. And so I decided to use the hallelujah scriptures, okay? And so, like I said, I will, the text is coming from Luke chapter 12, um, verses 49 through 53. And it reads, I came to send fire on the earth, and how I prefer it were already kindled. But I have an emerging to be emerged with, and how distressed I am until it is accomplished. Do you think that I come to make peace on earth? I say to you, no but rather division. For from now on, five and one house shall be divided, three against two and two against three. Father shall be divided from son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Okay, so that is the text. And... That's a powerhouse. That's a powerhouse text. It's saying a lot in that uh, scripture reading. Uh, it's the most, uh, Hamashiach is letting us know that he did not come to make peace on the earth, but he came to bring division. And I can truly say that uh, my experience uh, since I've been in the walk since 2016, um, yes, I have been uh, divided, uh, separated. Uh, from fam family and friends, okay? And also, if you read, I'm going to read this out of the New King James Version. This is Matthew chapter 10, verses 35 and 36. And this it, it is basically a precept um, to Luke 12, uh, 49 through 53. And it reads, For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies will be those of his own household. Did you hear that? Let me repeat verse 36 again. And a man's enemy will be those of his own household. And so the Most High um, was very, very, very specific um, on showing us where the division was going to take place. 
okay? He's basically saying, Hamashiach is saying that the division will be in our own families, okay? It's going to happen in our own families. And so when you wake up to this truth and you start sharing this truth with your family and your friends, it's going to cause a separation, okay? And so... Um, I just want to let you know that during my study, when I come across a word uh, that I want just a deeper understanding on, I try to uh, look it up in the blue letter or uh, to get a deeper meaning on what it what it is saying. And so the word that I looked up uh, yesterday was divide. Okay, divide, division. And uh, the blue letter Bible basically says that divide means to be divided into opposing parts, to be at variance, that means disagreement, and dissension, strong disagreement, a contention, or quarrel, or discord, okay? And so that in itself, let us, that in itself lets us know uh, that when we come into this truth, it's going to be um, division. It's going to be separation. You're going to um, have arguments and quarrels and discord uh, with your loved ones and um, friends about this truth. And it's going to, it's going to separate you. Because that's what um, holy means. Holy, Kodesh. It means set apart. Okay? And so I just want to just share uh, with the daughters of Zion that we all have and will experience loss in this truth okay that's a given you're not going to get around it okay because if you're being led by the Ruach HaKadash and we know that the set apart spirit is to set us apart okay is to um, take us out of the world we are no longer engaged in what the world do and different things like that we are set apart uh, to the things that please the Most High Yah okay and so um, let me go to the next part and just basically saying that um, we know that truth is the new hate speech. Okay, truth is the new hate speech. And you don't have to go far. Just turn your TVs on and look at the news. Okay, a couple of certain individuals, they just put truth out. The most I use them. You know, the Most High uses who he pleases. If he can speak through a donkey, he can speak through anybody. And he used these young people to just basically tell the truth. And then look at all the quarreling that has come because the truth has been spoken. The discord, the arguments. The Most High word is alive and is well. And you can see, you can just see. If you have eyes to see, and ears to hear, you see and you hear what's going on. And you and if you in his word like you should be, you see these words come played out right in front of you like a movie. The most high words are played out right before you like you watching a movie. And that's all I can say. Hallelujah. All praises and esteem to the most high for giving me ears to hear and eyes to see. I thank him for that. And so I just wanted to move on to um, John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Let me find that and read that. Okay. And it reads, Then Yahweh said to those Yahudim who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Okay? The truth makes you free. Okay? And this is a message uh, to the babes, uh, those that are just coming into the truth. Uh, you know, I know coming into the truth, you don't feel like you are truly free. Because you are ha having to basically separate yourself from so much of the wickedness that this world um basically introduced us to okay we have to start eating clean we have to eat uh, clean foods clean meats okay uh, we have to put 
aside all the things that we are used to eating. We have to uh, be separated from family and friends um, that is just there to hinder us. So it's, it's, it's a lot. You don't feel like you are free. Uh, but I can truly say that you are free indeed. Okay. Um, and I also wanted to say that, um, you know, I just wanted to share a word of, of, of hope and of encouragement, especially for the babes and those that are, are new in the truth. Um, and I just wanted to um, let you know that those that are new in the truth, you're about to experience a little turbulence within the next two months uh, with the holidays. I'm sorry, the holidays coming along. Okay. And this is a time, uh, the holidays where, you know, you're used to spending time with family and friends. You have parties, you have work gatherings, a lot of food, just a lot of festivity going on with your family and friends. And um, you will grow with time uh, to learn how to pull back and separate yourself, you know, um, from people that is going to bring um, distraction or hinder you from walking in this truth. And so I just want to just, uh, you know, bring a word of encouragement, um, especially for such a time as this. Um, I think that with the holidays approaching, um, some of the younger babes that is new in the truth uh, may find it a little uh, hard. It may be lonely for them. They may be a little discouraged, okay? And um, I just want to say that this is a time uh, for the Miss Packer, the Daughters of Zion, uh, to gather up around uh, the sisters, the Akotis, uh, the Emas that is new in this walk, um, to show them what it what it truly is to love one another and be there for one another. Okay, and so um, I just want to just leave that word of encouragement, and also I came across another scripture um, that I want to share as well. Because like I was saying, this is not a time um, for our uh, babes and those that is new in the walk, uh, for us that are seasoned, so to speak, and um, been in the walk for a while to point our fingers like we sitting high and looking low and casting judgment um, on the newcomers, uh, the babes in this walk. Okay, um, we have to be careful. Okay, we definitely have to be careful in doing that. We don't need to be doing that. Uh, and I would say a word of encouragement uh, for those uh, that will be experience, experiencing some discomfort uh, during the holiday times as well. Um, just use discernment. Ask the Most High to give you discernment. Okay, Because uh, we have to know when to speak and when not to speak. When to share the word of the Most High with our family and friends and loved ones and when to be quiet, okay? It's a time and it's a season for everything, okay? And uh, I just wanted to read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses uh, 6 through 8, and it says, and this is the King James, King James Version, it says, I have planted Apollo's water, but Elohim gives the increase, so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but Elohim that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Okay, and so when I read that, that's one of my powerhouse um, scriptures right there. Because that's letting me know that we have to use discernment when we are sharing the most high word. We have to know when to speak, when to be quiet, okay? This verse is basically saying he's gonna use one of us to plant the seed, okay? So when you plant a seed, you're not there hovering over that seed, watching it grow. You're gonna walk away. And why you are away, the most high is using someone else to come and water that seed, okay? And then if it's the most high will, he will do the increase. He will wake that individual up, that loved one up, that friend up, that family member up, if it's his will. 
Okay, and so that's the same as with the word of the Most High. We just, hey, we share. We have to let them know because we don't want the blood on our hands. We have to let our family and friends know truth. But after we do that, pray and ask the Most High for discernment on when you need to go back to that uh, family member, to that loved one, to that friend, and possibly share another word. Okay, and if he tells you, okay, uh, um, I, I basically I'm going to use someone else to water. Okay, be, be fine with that. Okay, and so um, I just wanted to, you know, just stop and just share a word, you know, with the daughters of Zion, especially um, those babes and those that are new in the walk, especially for such a time as this going into the holiday season, uh, just trying to leave a word of encouragement. And know that Ema uh, Ayalea is praying for you, okay, uh, that you'll be strong and you'll walk in the most high word. And I also, um, you know, wanted to leave you with as well, um, do the work during this season, during this holiday season. Okay, use, uh, gird yourself up. Use the tools that the Most High gave you uh, to strengthen you during this trying time. Okay, and a uh, few of them, well, maybe three or four, um, pray more. Okay, during the holiday season, pray more. Talk to the Father more. Let them know how you feel. If you're feeling um, rejected or, you, or if you're feeling alone, you know, talk to him about it. And then second, read the most high word, okay? And I'm going to not just say read, especially during such a time as this. We have to learn how to study his word, okay? You come across words that, that uh, you just want a deeper meaning with or, or just need to know what the word means. It's the most high has a word for everything. If you're feeling lonely, he has a word for that. If you're feeling rejected, he has a word for that. So this will be a time to emerge yourself in the Most High Word. Or emerge yourself in prayer. And if the Spirit leads you into fasting, hey, do that. Turn your plate down. Turn your cup down. Fast. Because when you use these three uh, powerhouse um, um, elements, it will bring results. Because you do this for your spirit man. Okay? You do this for your spirit man. And what you do in the spirit will be manifested in the flesh. Okay? So we have to stay strong. We have to stay prayed up. We have to stay in his word. We have to fast when we are called into fasting. Okay? And so this is just a word of encouragement um, for those that will be experiencing rejection and loneliness uh, during this uh, holiday season. And um, last but not least, um, fellowship. Get around those that is like-minded like you are, that is in the Word. Get around people and fellowship, you know, with the Miss Packer. Okay, because that's what we are here for. We are here to love one another, encourage one another, strengthen one another, especially when we are weak. Okay, and so I just wanted to share this word uh, with the daughters of Zion. Um, and I pray that it is a baraka to you in this walk, especially as we do enter another um, holiday season. Um, you know, and if you don't have that fellowship and you awaken and you don't have people around you that are like minded, um, get on the phone. You know, call an email, call a Kotia. You know, um, hey, just reach out, okay? Because the Most High will provide you with, with you with what you need, without a doubt, okay? Because uh, He will never leave nor forsake us. And He did not wake us up uh, just to leave us, okay? Uh, this is the time for us to really gather around those that are weaker and those that are new in this truth for us to show what it is to truly love our Miss Packer. And so I'm going to end the uh, video right here and I just want to say Shalom Shalom and um, Shabbat Shalom to those that are observing Shabbat today and Yabaruk.